Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering mechanics. We're going to cover the moment about a specific axis. So here we'll have the lessons, the lecture, and then we'll have several problems. Now this, this topic actually gives students a lot of problems. Mostly it's because you have to visualize in three dimensions what's happening. If you just try to crank through the math blindly without really understanding what you're doing here, then you end up shortchanging yourself and also just not being confident what you're doing. So essentially what we have is, um, let me draw a picture. You know, a picture's worth a thousand words. Let me draw a picture and we'll talk about a moment about a specific axis. So let's draw our typical three-dimensional representation, X, Y, Z type of situations. Here is X, here is Y, and here is Z. By the way, if you don't know how to orient this, just take your right-hand rule. It should, you should say X crossed with Y should give you Z. So that's how you... Uh, should do that. If you have these flipped around, you'll, you won't get the right orientation. All right, so anyway, what we have here is in three-dimensional space, we have some three-dimensional object. Now, this is a chalk, this is a board, so I can't exactly draw three-dimensional objects, but you can envision some blob, some potato-shaped object, and it's intended to look like it's centered on the origin here. I know it doesn't look perfect. Uh, maybe if I erase these uh, things, it might look a little bit better, but anyway, that's basically the, the idea there. And uh, we have some force applied. Let's call it, let me use red. Red's a lot easier to visualize. We have some force applied, let, let's say at this point. So we attach a rope here and we pull on it and we pull on it maybe in like this direction right here and that's some force F. So clearly if we attach a rope to a potato or, or you know an asteroid or something and pull on it, it's going to induce a moment, right? Now let's say that the moment that we're interested in, in investigating is the moment about the origin here, all right? So then in order to calculate that moment, let me switch colors to green. In order to calculate that moment, you know by now that you take the radius vector uh, from the point of rotation you're interested in and it terminates where the force is applied there. And so R cross F, that's what we've basically been saying the whole time, right? So let me go ahead and write that down. This is kind of a lot of review, but the moment about the uh, origin or about point O here is the R vector crossed with the F vector. All right, so you can see from this that um, the direction of the moment that it's going to be pointed is going to lie parallel to both of these two vectors. All right, so in all of the previous problems, or in a lot of the previous problems, if you either had a two dimensional uh, situation, in which case the moments are all coming out of the board or going into the board because it's either rotating this way or rotating that way. Or in the limited three-dimensional problems we've had, I've kind of kept things simple so that it was a little bit easier to visualize the moments. But now you have to, you know, put your big boy or big girl pants on a little bit now and realize that you can have three-dimensional situations where you have arbitrary R and arbitrary F. F can point anywhere, R can point anywhere because you can apply the force to anywhere on the exterior surface of the object. And when you do that, you're going to induce a moment about the origin. And that moment is not going to point in the X direction, uh, you know, unless you just happen to apply it perfectly right. It's not going to point in the Y direction. It's not going to point in the Z direction. What that means is in general, when I apply an arbitrary force at an arbitrary point, I'm not going to rotate purely about the X or the Y or the Z axis. I'm going to rotate in some other random direction, depending on how I've oriented my uh, force and how and the p p position of the point on the object that I'm applying the force. So the question is, I have some, let me kind of sync up with my notes here. Consider some random oriented potato object, let's call it, and I'm trying to induce a moment about point 